Yo, what's the deal? So check it out, brothers. I got another interesting video for you guys. You see these shades that I'm wearing? These are recording shades. If you see, can you see that little camera? Right there, right in the middle of the lens. Right here. Yep. And then there's a, probably a light that blinks. Hold on, let's see if I could get it. I don't know if I can get it. Let's see, I gotta probably turn off the lights. Anyways, the light blinks, so I'll get it to work right now. Um, you put the SD card right here in the sleeve. And bada boom, bada bing. You're a business, bro. Alright, check this out. So, I'm going to let you guys, the, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what's, what's about to happen. Alright, so peep this. Uh, I'm going to need a light real quick. Let's see here. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but I put aluminum tape, aluminum, uh, just aluminum on my windows. I don't know if it helps or not. I just want to do whatever, like I said, to fuck up these food perp shit. It's not that I'm afraid. I just want to fuck, fuck up their game. I want to make sure that they know that we choose to you know we choose how things are gonna go down like we're not afraid of the consequences i choose how i'm gonna live my life they don't have a choice you know they make us opt into all this bullshit and i'm not playing by the rules I'm playing by my own rules so check this out um I have to go to the GR office today, and what do you call it, hold up, let me get comfortable, bro, ah, there I go, alright, so I have to go to the GR office today, and last time that I went, which was like last week, there was two ambulances right in front of the building, and uh, And uh, they were just waiting for me. I already know. They were just waiting for me to get there. So that the 5G tower that's sitting in front of their building. They can collect some kind of information from me. So as soon as I got there. I started feeling you know. Like my brain was getting hacked or something like that. And there was a big line. When there's never a big line. So I was just like. I was like set up. Straight up. I'm just like these fools are trying to get information. And I'm just like, I'm good because I haven't been out the house in a few weeks because I've been looking for jobs and there's not really no reason for me to go out since I don't have my car anymore. So, um, so yeah, so, um, I already know they're going to have their little setup today, but we're going to document everything. And since supposedly this little paper that I have claiming that I hit somebody or I was in an accident which doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have a date. See that there's this check right here. Call the investigator name above between hours of 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Except Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. Telephone number, blah, blah, blah. And then it says this box right here right below it. It says bring a letter to police station indicated below. Appear on or before this date. And there's no date there. There's no, there's no time frame until they can issue a warrant. <clears throat> so I'm gonna call a lawyer and uh, have them mail a freaking letter out to these people. 
and uh, it'll it'll get taken care of. I ain't even tripping on it. Um, the only thing is they're probably gonna stop me before that to try to get me locked up for it or something. But we're gonna document everything. I'll I'll get it on video. That's what that's why it's important to have a live feed because. You can document everything live and upload it on the spot of the cops pulling up and arresting you. And how would they know where you are? How would they know to stop you and look for you, you know? Because the, warrant, the warrant's not that big. They have so many people that have warrants that are freaking, you know, high up there in criminal activity. And they want to stop you for some bullshit-ass charge. Like, trust me, it's a setup, bro. Anyways... So I've been using um, RFID blocking fabric. And what I would do is I wouldn't sleep with it. But since I accidentally fell asleep with uh, some magnets the other night, it really magnified my brain and they were to, able to lock onto me because that's what STAR uses is EMF fields. So the, the advanced Wi-Fi system on, my, on top of my building is, uh, is it, it, uses EM, it uses EMF fields a lot. Um, that's what I think its main focus is on. So by using um, RFID blocking fabric, which blocks EMF, before I go to sleep, I keep this on all night. And I don't care if I'm giving them information. I'm trying to give you guys information because if I get taken out, I need people to know what techniques I used so they can continue to rise against the system. Because if I go down, somebody's asses better rise up. Because unless all you guys are just twats, all right. So, um, so yeah, so pretty much, bro. Like, <clears throat> that's what's going down right now. And I know all these perps are watching. They're sitting in their houses, and they're just like twiddling their thumbs, waiting for the next move. What's gonna happen and shit? They're just on their phones, trying to see if I'm still getting targeted, so they could come out and make money. And all of them know I'm talking shit, and they all know, and they just look, and they're just like, damn, like, this fool's really going against the system, bro. Like, I already know what's up, bro. I know all that shit. I know who's a perp, who's not. Easily can make them like that. So don't come at me with that bullshit. And we're going to document um, when I go to this GR office and see if these fools are going to be pulling up, or these cops, or, or the ambulances. Most likely they are. I don't really give a shit. I mean, their tactics are weak, like I said. This this program, for me, I can handle it. You know what I mean? Like, it's annoying as fuck, but I can handle it. It's not really that bad, you know? Um, for other people, it might be, and those are the people that I'm fighting for because, uh, you know, they don't. people don't need to... They don't deserve to be tortured like this. Uh, and uh, I've seen some dude's channel. I'm going to put it in the link. But this dude, he suffers from PTSD, and they're gang stalking him. They're targeting him and, and using all kinds of, uh, of you know, weapons on him and stuff. And and this shit's crazy, bro. Like, I don't like I don't like this shit at all. And um, you know, it's it's just it's crazy how how people are not even trying to stand up and fight. At least that I don't see them trying to stand up and fight. And they're just letting this shit happen to people. And 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 not only that. But they're fucking participating with it, bro. That shit's fucked up, you know? And they don't have no shame and shit in doing it. And they're watching, like, older people just get tortured to death and, like, pass away and shit. Fucking with people's brains, making them have brain, brain aneurysms, fucking heart attacks. I was getting hit on my heart, uh, like, two weeks ago. And then previous times before that, um... And what I did is I put RFID blocking. I had a pouch that I used to put my phone in. And I, I uh, attached it around here, around my waist with some kind of band. I put the RFID blocking fabric right here. It blocked whatever they were sending at me. So I, I suggest you guys just look up some RFID blocking fabric. It doesn't matter. You can test it out. If it doesn't work, you see through Amazon. You can order something. And if it doesn't work, keep the packaging, keep the box. And if it doesn't work, send it back and try a couple that do work. But make sure you test them out properly. And if you do put them in a hat, make sure you layer it. And then put like a handkerchief or a bandana 
on the the very end of the layering so that it absorbs the sweat because you don't want to mess up the material um because when the material gets wet it's like it, it conducts i think some kind of electricity or something and it, and it makes the material not work as good so try to keep it clean um let's see if i'm leaving out anything else Yeah, but I'm I'm disconnected. I I feel like I'm disconnected right now because um I just do. I kind of know I can sense it. So um all these fucking perps they're gonna be on it because they want your remote neuro monitoring twenty four seven surveillance. And if I'm not being surveilled right now, these fucking cop fucking cop uh helicopters are flying fucking back and forth, <laughs> fucking at least like ten times a day. Every time I turn on my phone. Every time I turn on my power, um, you know, I'll walk outside, perps are already passing by, they're already fucking, they're on standby, they have cars waiting at the corners right now as we speak to see if I'm going to leave my house. They have people on standby just waiting to leave their house, they're probably in their hallways just staring at their phones like trying to see if I'm going to walk out and then as soon as they get the notification or, you know, they're linked up, neural link shit. And they're just like, right here, here he comes, I can sense that shit, or something's telling me from my phone, you know, bam, and then they go out. It's just a big-ass ant farm, bro. It's a big-ass ant farm, and I ain't fucking playing no games, bro. I ain't playing no games. I got you motherfuckers on record, plus I'm gonna have my phone recording. Um, You gotta protect yourself, bro. If you don't have a person with you, walking with you all the time to help to help you be a witness to whatever you're doing or whatever you're going through, it's gonna be hard to prove it and you're gonna be taken advantage of by this system. So, um, you know, stay strong, stay blessed, praise Yeshua HaMashiach, you know, the most high, bro. And, you know, glory to God. He's the only one that is keeping me up, bro. He's keeping me standing. And, and have this faith to fight against this system, bro. For his people. He says, if you love me, take care of my sheep, homie. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that.